Hey y'all, today we're going to be talking about uh, Sonic the Hedgehog and more specifically Metal Sonic. And specifically, what what the heck is Metal Sonic's deal in the continuity or timeline in the games? And the, mostly we're going to talk about the classic games because this is where the problem mostly starts. So, anyway, we both know, well, you and I, me, you, 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 you get it, anyway. We both know that Metal Sonic is the ultimate Sonic fighting machine. He is the ultimate weapon programmed by Eggman to fight Sonic. We all know that, but we also know that Mecha Sonic exists. Mecha Sonic Mark 1 and Mecha Sonic Mark 2. Now we both know that those aren't as good as Metal Sonic because they're not as they're not used again. Even though I personally think that Mecha Sonic Mark 2 is the better robot out of the three of them, but whatever. But here's the question since sonic origins could basically confirm that sonic cd takes place in between sonic 1 and sonic 2 what since metal sonic is the more polished robot why would mecha sonic come after metal it never really made sense now people had their own theories and whom you know their own thoughts about the whole conundrum and i I'm here to offer my own take on it. So, what I came up with is a wild theory, but I'm sure it, I'm sure you guys will like it. Just give me a second. So, we know that Metal Sonic, it, he gets completely destroyed. Like, he rams his face into a wall and just gets, it just gets kapoopled. Yeah, yeah, that word. He gets destroyed, basically. So, and so, which means, which this, this tells us a lot, actually. This, this, this tells us a lot, actually. We know that Metal Sonic isn't that strong in Sonic CD. He's actually quite fragile because when Sonic runs into uh, the wall, if you lose, he doesn't just get destroyed. He actually just comes to a stop. But when Metal Sonic run, runs into the wall, he gets completely destroyed. So this could mean that he is fragile, which means that in a one-on-one -on -one fight, Metal Sonic would completely get destroyed by Sonic, which is important because in Mecha Sonic and Sonic 2, he he has a standing, he can actually fight Sonic. If you try to spin dash into him while he's spin dashing, he will kill you. But also he's very clunky and slow. So this is my theory. Metal Sonic in Sonic CD is not the same Metal Sonic we have now, but instead, Metal Sonic 1.0, the first ever Metal Sonic, or first ever Robo Sonic that Eggman ever created, which is why he was programmed to be Sonic in a race, not really for, for strength, which is why, you know, he just doesn't turn out that well. Mecha Sonic was programmed to fight Sonic. Okay, and this is important because we now know that Metal Sonic and Mecha Sonic serve two functions. One to race Sonic and one to fight Sonic. And Mecha Sonic Mark II is also there to fight Sonic, but he also has the speed of Metal Sonic or something close to that anyway. So when, when we see Metal Sonic again in Sonic Heroes, he's completely upgraded into what I call Metal Sonic 2.0, which is the Metal Sonic we have now, which we haven't seen since Sonic Rivals, or I guess Sonic Team Sonic Racing, if you want to count that as canon, which I guess it is. Uh, I'm not really a fan of that. I'll go into the whole canon thing later in a separate video, but I guess so. Yeah, Metal Sonic 2.0 is the Sonic we have now. Uh, Metal Sonic we have now, and Metal Sonic 3.0 we see in Sonic Rivals, which is canon because it has to be. Again, get, I'll get into that later. Which so yeah, Mecha Sonic was there to fight Sonic. Metal Sonic was there to race Sonic. And Metal Sonic 2.0 is pretty much the better of all these robots because you can actually match Sonic in everything instead of just in speed or in strength. And yeah, that's pretty much my explanation of it. I like to hear your explanation of it in the comments down below. If this video gets any views, which probably won't play, you know. Alright, bye. bye.